Covalent bonds form between non-metal atoms which share their valence electrons to form a complete outer shell. The overlap between the orbitals and where the electrons are shared is known as a covalent bond. If the outermost occupied energy level is the first energy level, it has a spherical shape and it can hold a maximum of two electrons. If the outermost occupied energy level is the second or third energy level, we represent that by a petal shape, which is known as a tetrahedral. Remember the word tetra means four. So the petal has four petals. It can hold a maximum of eight electrons. In this lesson, we are going to learn how to draw covalent sharing diagrams for compounds which have more than one type of element. So we've got a couple of steps that we want to follow that are very similar to our preparing for our covalent sharing diagrams. Step one, we want to write the group and valency for the elements which are present in the formula. Number two, we want to circle the one with the highest valency. We then write down the electron arrangement for that element. Step number four, we have to draw the correct outer electron shell. Remember, it's a circle. If the outermost electrons are found in the first energy level and a petal if it is found in the second, third, fourth, fifth shell. Step number five, we repeat for step three and we make sure that we overlap the shell which is drawn in step four so that we can get them to have a shared pair of electrons. Let's draw the covalent sharing diagram for hydrogen fluoride. It ends in ide, the D stands for double, which means we have two different elements. The formula for hydrogen fluoride is HF. Hydrogen is found in group 1, fluorine is found in group 7. Hydrogen has got a valency of 1 and fluorine has got a valency of 1. Usually we would circle the one with the highest valency, we're always going to circle the element which is not hydrogen first. Fluorine has the electron arrangement to 7. We circle the outermost occupied energy level. We can see that that's the second energy level. So we're going to draw a petal. We're going to pop in the electrons. Remember that the electrons sit singly before they double up. Hydrogen has the electron arrangement 1. The electrons are found in the first energy level, which means we are going to be drawing a circle. We need to make sure that that circle overlaps the unpaired electron of the fluorine atom and we pop in the one electron that the hydrogen has. What we can see is in the overlap, we have a shared pair of electrons, which represents our covalent bond. The next example is to draw the covalent sharing diagram for hydrogen oxide. It ends in ide, the D stands for double, so we're working with two different elements. The formula for hydrogen oxide is H2O. Hydrogen is found in group 1, oxygen is found in group 6. The valency of hydrogen is 1 and oxygen is 2. We circle the one with the highest valency. Oxygen has an electron arrangement of 2, 6. We circle the most occupied outer energy level, which is the second energy level. So therefore, we're going to draw a petal. Remember, when we're working with oxygen, we want to put a petal on its side so it looks like an X. We pop the six electrons in, making sure that they sit singly before they double up. Hydrogen has the electron arrangement 1. The electrons are found in the first energy level, so we're going to draw a circle. We need to overlap our circle with an unpaired electron, which is found in the oxygen atom. And what we can see from our formula is that we've got a second hydrogen, which means we're going to have a second circle overlapping the second unpaired electron of the oxygen. We can see that we have 
two shared pairs of electrons, which means that water has two covalent bonds. Nitrogen hydrides, the formula is NH3. Nitrogen is found in group 5, hydrogen is found in group 1. The valency of the nitrogen is 3, the valency of the hydrogen is 1. We circle the one with the highest valency. Nitrogen has the electron arrangement 2, 5. The outermost occupied energy level is the second energy level, so we draw a petal. We pop in the five outer electrons, remembering to make them sit singly before they double up. Hydrogen has the electron arrangement 1. The electrons are found in the first energy level, so we're going to draw a circle. We need to overlap the circle with an unpaired electron which is found in the nitrogen. We can see from the formula that we have three hydrogens, so we have to make sure that we've got three overlaps. Those three shared pairs of electrons represent three covalent bonds. Silicon hydride has the formula SiH4. Silicon is found in group 4, hydrogen is found in group 1. The valency of silicon is 4, hydrogen is 1, we circle the one with the highest valency. Silicon has the electron arrangement 2, 8, 4. The outermost occupied energy level is the third energy level, so we're going to draw a petal diagram. We pop in the four outer electrons, making sure that they sit singly. Hydrogen has the electron arrangement one. It's found in the first energy level, so we're going to draw a circle. We're going to overlap that circle with an unpaired electron found in the silicon diagram. And from the formula, we can see that we have got four hydrogen atoms, which means we're going to have to have four overlaps, which means we have four covalent bonds present in silicon hydride. Carbon dioxide has the formula CO2. Carbon's found in group four, oxygen's found in group six. Carbon has a valency of four and oxygen has a valency of two. We circle the one with the highest valency. Now, because we have oxygen present in the compound, we want to make sure that we make our petals in the X shape. It makes things a lot easier. Carbon has the electron arrangement 2, 4. The outermost energy level occupied by the electrons is the second energy level, which means we're going to draw a petal diagram. Remember to put it on its side. We pop in the four outer electrons. Oxygen has the electron arrangement 2, 6. The electrons that are occupied are found in the second energy level. So we're going to draw a petal on its side again. This time, what we want to do is we want to overlap two of the petals from the carbon with two of the petals from an oxygen atom. We pop in our six outer electrons, making sure they sit singly before they double up. In the formula, we have got a second oxygen atom. So we repeat that on the other side, making sure that we've got two overlaps between the oxygen petal and the carbon petal. We pop in our electrons and what we can see is that we have got four covalent bonds. Each carbon atom forms a double bond with an oxygen atom. Oxygen, double bond carbon, double bond oxygen. This question is from the National 5 2013 specimen paper written 7b part 1. Natural gas, which is mainly methane, was used to fuel the flame in the Olympic cauldron. Draw a diagram to show how all the outer electrons are arranged in a molecule of methane, CH4. The formula is CH4. Carbon is found in group 4. Hydrogen is found in group 1. The valency of carbon is 4 and the valency of hydrogen is 1. 
we circle the one with the highest valency. The electron arrangement of carbon is 2, 4. The outermost occupied energy level is the second energy level. So we're going to draw a petal. We pop in our four outer electrons. Hydrogen has the electron arrangement 1. The outermost occupied energy level is the first energy level. So we're going to draw a circle. We're going to overlap that with an unpaired electron which is found in the carbon atom. We're going to pop an electron in. What we can see from the formula is that we have four hydrogen atoms, which means we need to have a total of four circles and four overlaps with the carbon atom. What we can see here is that carbon has four covalent bonds. This is the completed covalent sharing diagram. This past paper questions from the National 5 2018 written 10b. Ammonia is made industrially by reacting nitrogen with hydrogen. Draw a diagram showing all outer electrons to represent a molecule of ammonia, NH3. The formula is NH3. Nitrogen is found in group 5, hydrogen is found in group 1. The valency of the nitrogen is 3, the valency of the hydrogen is 1. We circle the one with the highest valency. Nitrogen has the electron arrangement 2, 5. The outermost occupied energy level is the second energy level. So we draw a petal. We pop in the five outer electrons, remembering to make them sit singly before they double up. Hydrogen has the electron arrangement 1. The electrons are found in the first energy level. So we're going to draw a circle. We need to overlap the circle with an unpaired electron which is found in the nitrogen. We can see from the formula that we have three hydrogens, so we have to make sure that we've got three overlaps. This last past paper question is from the National 5 2016 written 4a. Some sources of methane gas contain hydrogen sulphide, H2S. Draw a diagram showing all outer electrons to represent a molecule of hydrogen sulphide. The formula is H2S, hydrogen is found in group 1, sulphur is found in group 6. Hydrogen has a valency of 1, sulphur has a valency of 2. We circle the one with the highest valency. Sulphur has the electron arrangement 2, 8, 6. The outermost occupied energy level is the third energy level. So we're going to draw a petal. It has six outer electrons, so we make them sit singly before they double up. Hydrogen has the electron arrangement one. The outermost electrons are found in the first energy level, which means we're going to draw a circle. We need to overlap that circle with an unpaired electron, which is found in the sulfur. We pop our electron in. From the formula, we have a second hydrogen atom, so we have to do a second overlap, making sure that we pop the electrons in the overlap. Hydrogen sulphide has got two covalent bonds, which we can see in the completed diagram.